To access the store, please enable the Steam overlay in the Fallout Shelter Steam properties. Welcome to First Play. Today we're trying out Fallout Shelter. This isn't the first time I've played Fallout Shelter. Um, I actually played, I guess what you would call the PC beta, because when it first came out, it came out on uh, the iOS, uh, basically Apple, and then eventually it came out on Android, and um, I tried to play it on my Apple phone, and it didn't hardly run. And then uh, I got it put on my Kindle, or I put it on my Kindle, um, through some means I won't explain because there's some not legal things to get uh, to get it on your Kindle, depending on which version of the Kindle you're using. Uh, and then I played the beta on the PC through uh, Bezosoft's special launch software. It's the same software you have to use if you use the creation kit for either um, the new Skyrim Special Edition or Fallout 4. Uh, it also has the beta for their uh, card game. Um, and then it had the beta for this. And now they got the full release on Steam, so now we're playing it on Steam. Okay, let's hop in, shall we? Now you have the... Now you have to determine the ID for your vault. Choose carefully because once you select an ID, it can't be changed. Okay. And my first vault, I always name it the same thing. 003. Create vault. Okay, congratulations, Vault Tech has selected you to be Overseer of Vault 3. Vault, the vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. As overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute that uses assigned dwellers with the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep the dwellers happy and do a great job. Okay, before I go any further, I just want to say this is actually the second time I've been recording this. The first time the video got messed up, um, but I did discover something cool. The, between this version and the the beta one they had on the you know the special Oblivion launch or the special Bezosoft launch so software, I just said Oblivion. <laughs> um, they have uh, added controller support, which I didn't know until my controller on my desk started to vibrate. Um, so you, I'm gonna be playing it with the mouse and keyboard, but I might also switch to the controller to see how it plays. Okay, let's uh, get into this. Welcome to your new vault, Overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concepts. Let's first build a room. Click on the hammer icon to open the build menu. You'll build You'll build a power generation generator that will produce power. Click on the power room. Assign dwellers here to produce power. Now we need dwellers to make the power generator produce power. Look, new dwellers have shown up to the vault door. Okay, so the dwellers should show up randomly whenever you start a new game. That's good. Look, new dwellers have. Sh okay, I already read that. Because originally you always got the same uh, starter um, NPCs, but now it looks like you don't. Let's look at the stats for a dweller. Click on a dweller to see their info. Alright, this dude's got really high strength. You can see the dweller's special stats. This info tells you where a dweller can be used most effectively. You can see it here, but if you click on it, it'll also give you the number layout. 
Okay, now we just need to assign them. That's what this pop-up's saying. Go here. And then same thing with her. Go here. Now that the dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double click on a room to take a closer look. If you are in dire need of extra resources, you can rush. You can use the rush mode. Click the rush button to open the rush menu. Okay, so Great, you successfully completed your first rush and collected caps. Let's build a second room. Diner. Build. Goes down here. Let's build one more room. It's gonna be the water generation room. Yeah. If you can't tell, I have a certain pattern that I pretty much always build whenever I start a new game. Great work. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Look at the meters to keep track of your resource needed. Look, more dwellers have shown up at the door. Now that you know the basic rules of the overseer's role, keep expanding your vault. Just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy. Good luck. Now, if you click your resource bar, it actually gives you the number value, but it fades out. Um, which is a shame. I wish it would stay up there all the time. Okay, nothing special about you. What about you? Uh, nope. She's got three points in strength. You need to replace that person that had one point in strength. Yeah, there we go. And let's move you up. Let's move you up here for now. She might be my designated breeder. Whoa. Oh yeah, you're going in the food center. The diner. Okay, that right there was a daily quest. You can click here to get them. Successfully rush one room will get you a lunchbox. A lunchbox are special items. You can buy them though, but I've never done that. Level up one dweller. Get to the lunchbox and one dweller to the wasteland. Let's send you to the wasteland so we get that one done. As soon as she goes out there, we can recall her, so that ain't, that ain't a big deal. Ooh, he has pretty high perception. Let's put him in the water room. Come on. Okay, let's click her recall. Okay, the game jumped down there all by itself. I did not tell you. I was trying to collect them caps. There we go. Ooh, collect 50 water and get another lunchbox. Okay. Let's collect you. Now we need, let's see, we got two there. So we need one here and one here. Let's put you in the food area. Ooh, now we got another, another guy. Um, let's look at his stats before we let the other guy in. He has good intelligence. We'll put you in the breeder room for now until we unlock what we need for that. For the, uh, intelligence. Put you in water. start making some caps. I need to extend the water room. Another water room. And then I'm going to need another power room and then I can move the uh, diner over here. I do have a certain uh, pattern I like to build it.
How many do I need to unlock the next? I need 12 dwellers to get storage, 14 to get med bay, and 16 to get the science lab, 18 to get my office, and 20 to get the radio station. So I need to be aiming for 20 to unlock all those things. Now this is a game that's, um, once you get further in, it's best played 5 minutes here, 5 minutes there. Because if, uh, if you don't, the, the more you play it, the more you get raided by raiders, attacked by death claws, and all kinds of stuff like that. Why are you walking around? You're supposed to be up there, making babies. Uh, high perception. So we'll put you in the water room. Oh. I need... Oh no, I don't have enough. Caps. Well, she's just gonna have to stay out there for now. Dang it. Um, try rushing a room or two to increase my caps. Don't go there. Hey, you can send other uh, dwellers over here to help put out in the fire. They'll return to their stations when they're done. And when you fail a room, it's not always bad, because they get experience points, too. Alright, I leveled up a dweller. Alright, that got my own lunchbox. Go help them. Okay, let's open. Let's claim that reward and then open that box. Put one dweller with a weapon. Let's see what we got in here. Maybe we'll get enough caps to expand the. Uh... Okay, 100 caps. Cool. Clothing. Uh, right away. That's good. Teddy bear. Not really useful. And, ooh, a special uh, dweller. He has really high charisma, so he'll be our mate. Mater. We'll put him in the mate room. Okay, let's build that living area. And then we'll put you here. And we'll put you to work. Doing, I guess, water. Powder generation, 125 caps. What else we got for quest? Put one dweller with a weapon. Uh, we don't have any weapons yet. Try to rush a room. Well, let's do the water room since we need to collect water for the other one. Alright. It, it gets us another lunchbox. And 28 water for the next one. Hundred caps. Uh oh, what we get there? Uh, quantums. And eh, that's not really very useful. At least it's not useful in the beginning of the game. It's useful later on. Engineer outfits. What does that do again? Outfits. Two endurance. Two intelligence, one luck. I don't have anything that uses in any of those. Four charisma, three charisma. We can put the charisma suits on the these guys. What does his outfit do? Two endurance, one intelligence, one luck. Uh oh, we need another power room quick. Um. Let's do the business suit. Let's. I'm in the wrong thing. Click here. Power room. Build here. Oh, 
Okay, we got another person. Let's see. High strength. Well, exactly what we needed. Hey, what else we got for quests? Food, water, and equipped a weapon. We still haven't got a weapon, so let's rush this room and try to get this water. Oh, ooh. Uh oh. This is not good. They ain't got no weapons. This might be the end of them. Oh, we got another dweller. Let's see. High agility. So he'll go in the diner. Once we build a diner over here. But until then, he can guard the entry. Okay, we unlocked the storage room. The storage room is not really essential. It does allow you, like it says, to have more items and pets. But, it will not stop you from collecting items from, say, the lunch boxes. The, the only thing the item count is for is for when you find things in the wasteland or when you go on a quest, which are introduced once you get the overseer's office. Okay. Alright, she's pregnant now, and she has... High intelligence, but she has higher charisma. Um, let's move her down here for now. Move you up here. We really need to build another power room first, because we're not outputting enough power. You know what? Let's put you in a power room for now. Vault Tech Starter Pack. Limited to one per vault. Jumpstart your vault with everything needed to get your underground life started quickly. The starter pack includes one legendary dweller, two rare dwellers, one legendary pet, one Mr. Handy, and Nuka-Cola Quantums, and lots of vault resources. No, thank you. Well, let's see, what do you have? Not much of anything. Let's put you in here. Why do you go back up the... No, I don't, I'm not even gonna ask. I think we're close. We need like five caps, don't we? No, we need 30 caps. Okay, it's about done. It's gonna rush it, but it's only got 30 seconds, so. And we don't have no quest that'll give us caps right now, do we? Oh, yeah, we do. But none of them we can do. Um, you can skip one quest a day. Go ahead and get rid of that one. Level up one dweller and get a lunchbox. Alright. Now the, the uh, X's turn that color, because you can skip another one if you want to use your quantums. Quantums are also used to speed up quests, uh, like traveling to the quest, traveling back from the quest. Uh, they also speed up exploring the wasteland coming back. Okay, let's try to rush the room now. Alright, we got enough. Oops. Alright. Level up. Alright, should give us another lunchbox. Oh, 
Now, what's in the lunchbox is completely random. Ooh, a gun. Darn, now I wish I had got rid of that one. Caps. Behemoth hide. Water. Oh, wait, that's not really useful. So Ooh, ten penny suit. Two perception, two charisma, two intelligence, one luck. Okay. What did we get for a new quest? Quick one out one dweller with an outfit and get the lunchbox. Well that's easy. Done. Mr. Handy from these two. Even though you can buy them separately if you want to pay with real money. Ooh, railroad rifle. 50 food, teddy bear, uh, 500 bottle caps. Alright, we're doing good on the caps. Okay, now we need to build the. get my configuration done correctly here. Build a diner here. Build another diner here. Then we need to build an elevator here. And another one here. And we can move these over here. And then we can delete this diner by going to the arrow and clicking destroy. Okay. Boom, it's gone. We need one more dweller to unlock the next item. Which is the medical thing. It'll go down here. But until then, let's build some living areas. One there. And normally I put storage here. But we're going to wait and see if maybe another dweller shows up. Because I want to keep enough caps to build the med area. Let's equip him with a... Actually, let's go to my... Click the 100 power. Sell one weapon or outfit. We can do that one. Oops. They get to your weapons, you go in here. Um, man, they're all good weapons. Uh, do I got any shitty outfits? No, not really. Um... I could sell these to get more caps. Uh, let's sell the lever action. It was more about getting uh, seeing what's coming up next in the slot. 100 water, 100 power, or 50 food. We're halfway to the 50 food. Got that one done. What else we got? Equipped one dweller with a weapon. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. So I didn't want to equip the weapon and not get anything out of it. Okay, now it's a hundred of everything. Uh, that can be a long one to get if you don't rush the rooms. Oh, failure! As you can see there, when uh, you fail, the pregnant ladies will leave the room so that they don't get, so the baby doesn't get damaged. Now, if you want to, okay. 
you want to speed it up, you can drag more people over there to help put out the fire, and then they'll go back to their original position. Fell again? Seriously? Go over there and help them put that out. Oh, they got it. Oh, let's wait for that to go, and then I'll collect it. And then we'll try to rush it. All right, success. Let's see if we can rush it again. Oh, failure. I was about to say, isn't there two people? But she's sitting right behind the other one. You can see it come this way. Alright. People need to hurry up. They get her back in the power room. Is it him? Did he have the gun? Man, that real gun sounds awesome. Finding railroad spikes in Fallout 4, but um, not I haven't got the gun yet. I don't know if you can't get it until you meet the railroad, but I'm pretty sure with the mods I have installed, you can get it before then. But who knows? Quit dancing and get to making babies. You need to go back to the power room. Okay, let's see. Water's the closest. And they also have the highest risk right now. What about electricity? 74. There we go. You can only send as many people as room and hold. Um, this two rooms. One room holds two people. So two rooms holds four people. Three rooms holds six, I want to say. You can check the list. Uh, yeah, six. So, basically, it's two people per room. Now the rooms do have upgrades. If you click this arrow here, and if you have 500 caps, you can upgrade the room to make uh, to make more per collection and to have a higher storage. I should do that with the power room because it'll increase the output. Five hundred. Yeah, let's go ahead. Next 
next one costs 1500 good god and look at that now it stores 225 which will allow me to build quite a bit more rooms Once I get the med bay unlocked, not even one more person. Normally, vault settlers would be lining up quicker than this. Normally, they keep coming to the door until you get to about 20. And then the game makes it where you only get one every so often, and then you have to start having your uh, settlers um, mate to uh, produce more uh, dwellers. Okay, now I need you to go up here. The ratio of men to women is pretty high in this vault. I got what? One, two, th three, four, five, six women, and one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's about the same. It's about, say, 60 40. Okay, well, um, I think I'm going to stop here. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And uh, if you think you like this, it's free on Steam. So just go pick it up. It's a good game. I've played it a lot. Not on Steam. i played it a lot on the, the, my uh, Kindle. Uh, I played it on the, you know, the Bezosoft beta launch thing. Uh, launcher. Uh, anyways, hope to see you next time.